Shalom and welcome with Pindronovsky. Today I want to share a word that came to me today in the month 10, day 19, the Gregorian year 2023. It's around 8.30 in the morning. So before you read or listen, ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you. Ask for wisdom and understanding and interpretation of the metaphorical elements. So uh, here's the word. I am the menorah, the lampstand, the light of the world. And you can shine through me in this darkness that hovers over the earth. In midst all the addictions of this world, I want to set you free. It is the truth, my truth, that will set you free. Free from addictions. What are the addictions? Drugs? A little bit. Cigarettes, a little bit. Alcohol, a little bit. Internet and social media, a little bit. Perversion, a little bit. A little bit here, a little bit there. But the real addiction that stands above everything is very subtle. Money. Yes, money. Deception is the devil's addiction to make you believe his lies when, if you have money, you will be free. Even people who live in utter poverty, their greatest addiction is money. So the system is designed and able to roll in and over the entire world and all people. Into your life, heart, soul and all society. Deep, deep is the root of it and rotten to the core. And as almost all people in this world are addicted to money, those who control the money know how to use their power to control the people. Though I hear from many who claim I am not addicted to money, and so on. Take away all money from them and see their response. Look how desperate they will become. Much more on money if you take away drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, or their smartphones. Very clear, it will reveal how much they trust that I will and can provide. And so easy you can compare it to how I will one day separate the sheep and the goats. The time draws near when many will face the challenge when their beloved own lives will be taken away. And not only this, but the attempt to steal their eternal life with lies, tricks and in psychological warfare to confess or deny me. How easy could Shimon Kefa, Peter, deny me three times? Don't think you stand above him declaring you will never deny me and even less in those last days, when the devil knows his time is running out. Seek me daily, listen to me continually, ask the Holy Spirit to teach you and guide your every step. Humble yourself before me and prostrate before the Father with an honest heart. Repent as often as you can and as long as you can. Ask for mercy and forgiveness permanently as you eat my bread and drink my blood. Let no one deceive you by any means, lest you fall into temptation. The pit of hell is wide open like a gruesome snake's mouth and very deep and dark. Don't fall into the snare of the accuser, liar and thief, the ravenous Beast roams around like a lion and seeks to devour everyone, every single soul. Time is short, but my kingdom lasts forever. The next test for humanity is at the door. Another additional distraction after the distractions that you already see in front of your eyes, where everybody speaks about, is the key to unlock the doors to the abyss for the next plague to come out. Behind closed doors 
everything has already been carefully prepared step by step for the lock to be opened. So prepare yourself in me and my word so you won't get deceived because if possible, it could be even so to the elect. If I would not shorten the days, be ready for it will come out of the blue as my coming will be as it was like the flood in the days of Noah. And remember in which times you live today, as I warned you beforehand. You have but a small window of a season to prepare your hearts before the floodgates, the windows of heaven will be opened, as the seals be opened and the bowls to be poured out. Be ready. All right, that was the word. Yes, be ready and prepared for what is to come. I see currently at least two big distraction shows and a couple of smaller ones. Whatever the next will be, I don't know. And yes, scripture gives us many warnings not to get deceived, especially as this will increase towards the last days at the end of this age, where I am certain we are already in. So pray do you not get deceived, that you will never get deceived. I have not given a time frame, a timeline for the next distraction, neither details about the next plague or what it will be. But in any case, be ready and prepared every day not to deny the Lord Yeshua. So he won't deny you before the Father in heaven. And with that, the access to, the, to eternal life. Access to the Father and eternal life. I actually have a song I recorded about 12 years ago with the title Ready. Ready. Be ready. It speaks about to have our hearts ready and purified at any time, maybe in 50 years or today. I would like today to fly home. Uh, I will put the link into the description of that song. And I pray you are well, wish you loads of blessings and Adonai be with you. Shalom, shalom.